Hello? Please, sir, please. The Gestapo are chasing me. May I take shelter in your home? Please, sir, they're going to kill me. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. What's going on? Who is that? Just follow my lead. It will be all right. It will be all right. I'm Senior Storm Leader Gapper. This is Under Storm Leader Feglein. What is this about? We are pursuing an enemy of the state. We have reason to believe he may have entered your home. I'm afraid not. We haven't had any visitors tonight. What's your name? I'm Christoph Müller. This is my wife, Bridget. Is it just the two of you in the house this evening? My daughter, Esther. He's asleep upstairs. We would like to conduct a search of the premises. Are there any objections? No. Mister, may I go upstairs and bring my daughter down to join us? She will be frightened if you enter her room without warning. May I ask you what crime the man you're looking for has committed? The man is considered a threat to national security. Are you a supporter of the Führer? Of course. Then you should want to see the fugitive captured as soon as possible. I do. Okay, sweetheart. These men need to look at the house to assure our safety. Now, before we begin, is there anything you wish to tell us that would make a conducting of a search unnecessary? We don't have any information. We live a very quiet life here. We're not used to this. If you cooperate, you have nothing to fear. Feglein, you search upstairs. Yes, sir. Nothing. It's clear. We thank you for your cooperation. Hold on. What? Did you check in there? No.
Nothing of interest. Okay, let's go. Good night. Good night, officers. Hello? Has it gone? Yeah. You're safe. I'm sorry we can't offer you something more hospitable. But it's better you be hidden, should the officers return. Thank you, Christoph. I owe you a huge debt of gratitude. I'm happy to offer you a temporary shelter. But my family will be in danger if your stay becomes a long-term arrangement. Of course. Just a few days will be appreciated. They have friends on the east side of Bavaria. I'll head to them once the search dies down. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. The book. You haven't let it go since you arrived. What is the meaning of it? If I don't tell you, then you don't have to lie when they ask you. But I assure you, I am no criminal. I pose no threat to you or your family or anyone else. I was a historian by trade, doing research for the Fuhrer. But I uncovered some dark secrets about the Fuhrer's plans for our country, and I felt it was my duty to step in and stop it. I understand. I don't support the current regime. Although, <laughs> I will not voice that openly, of course. Indeed. We will provide you with food and shelter. All I expect in return is respect for my family. Yes, of course. Thank you. Here we go, my love. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm. I like seeing sweat on a working man's forehead. Oh, do you now? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Christoph, Christoph. What is it? Christoph, look. Make sure Benjamin returns to the attic. Okay. okay. The last time we have visitors. Okay. okay. It will be alright. It will be alright. I 
need the book. There's no time. Hide it. Whatever you do, don't let them find it. Yes? I am uh, Colonel Luda von Augensleben. How are you on this glorious day? Fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, you may have guessed the reason for my visit today. It's regarding the matter my officers discussed with you a few days ago. Inspector, on my home. I'm aware of that. Uh, forgive me. I hate to trouble your family again, but it would be remiss of me not to follow up on such an important matter of national security. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. Good. May we go in for a moment? Yes. Please. This must be your lovely wife. Yes, this is Bridget. Frau Mueller, a great pleasure. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. I do not want to take up too much of your time. Though I'd love to meet your lovely daughter. She's at home today. Uh, yes, she's upstairs in her bedroom. Excellent. Perhaps I get a chance to meet her later. Frau Mueller. Oh, please call me Christoph. Very well. Christoph. May we speak privately? Yes, of course. I accompany her. Thank you, Fingerlin. Please. That's it. Ah. We are both busy men, so I'll get straight to the point. The enemy of the state we are looking for is a man by the name of Benjamin Hoffman. Well, he has stolen important government documents, which, if they fell into the hands of our enemies, would have great consequences for our national security. It is our understanding that Hoffman is intent on selling these documents to a rival nation. I'm sure you understand it is imperative we prevent this? Of course. I assume, of course, you are loyal to the Fuhrer. I'm a very proud German. Of course you are. So, uh, if you are to encounter this man, uh, it would be your duty as a proud German citizen to inform the authorities, yes? Of course. And you know exactly what it is I do for the Fuhrer? No. Well, here in the Bavaria region, uh, I am responsible for, amongst other things, uh, finding and interrogating people suspected of harboring enemies of the state. Do you know why I was appointed to such a position? No. It is because, unlike the average human being, I do not treat lying as an emotional matter. You see, lying is a science. And this is a very complex science. There are many different signals to tell if someone is lying. There are some people who can learn to control the overt symptoms, but uh, there are some things that we as human beings simply cannot control. Namely, the nervous system. When you are in a stressful situation, your autonomic and limbic systems react. Now, this means that uh, your whole body prepares you for the imminent threat. Your blood vessels constrict, uh, you begin to breathe faster, your heart beats more rapidly. This leads to sweating. Now, uh, as the adrenaline shoots to the body, it is very difficult to prevent the inevitable trembling in various body parts, such as uh, your hands and uh, feet. And this war, the most useful weapon is uh, not a pistol. It is the nervous system. It 
tells me everything I need to know. I understand. What do you understand, Herr Müller? You are a human light detector. <laughs> that, that is something of an oversimplification, but uh, certainly an accurate sentiment. So, Christoph, before we do one final search of your home, is there anything you'd like to share with me? Any information you might have? I have no information. Of course. I would appreciate it if you and your wife would accompany me and my men as we conduct our search. Of course. Esther, this is Colonel von Erwis Leben. Please forgive her nervousness, Colonel. She's not used to visitors of such esteem. No need to be alarmed, young lady. I'm merely here to ensure the safety of your family. She's a very beautiful girl. You play cards? Sometimes. Oh. Do you know poker? No. <laughs> This is a very interesting game. Key part of it is bluffing. Do you know what bluffing is? No. Mm. Bluffing is an act of deception. Designed to make your weekend look stronger than it is. And to get your opponent to fold. That means to lay down his hand. But you know that already. <laughs> She's very smart. Do you know what might make a successful bluff? No. Well, first, you need to choose your moments wisely. There are several key elements to consider. First, you need to pick the right opponent to bluff against. You don't know what to bluff against a man who will not Lay down his hand even when he knows you have him beat. Bluffing on a hand which has a small chance of success is much easier to do. Next, you need to determine the size of your bet. Now, ideally, you want to bet the least amount necessary to get your opponent to fold. However, and this is most important, you never want to bluff against a man who knows when you are bluffing. Let's see your hand. If your opponent can read your signals, you will lose. The truth is, novice players fall into the trap of bluffing far too often. I would suggest, as a new player, avoiding the temptation to bluff at all. It's best to play a straight hand and let fate decide your outcome. What do you think, Christoph? I'm sure you're a very formidable opponent at the poker table, Connor. The 
your parents are going to show me the rest of the house now. Before they do, uh, is there anything you'd like to share with me? What about? Have you seen any house guests over the last few days? Yes. Who? My friend Sandra was here last week. How nice. Well, we will leave you in peace for the moment. Thank you for allowing us to see your room. Crystal? This is a magnificent house. Thank you. You are a very rich man, Christoph. I'm afraid not. Oh, but you are. Every day you are surrounded by such beauty. This is to be treasured. The beauty of uh, nature, of uh, your wife and daughter, and this house. This makes you a very rich man in my book. I suppose you're right. It's a shame. You're also a very foolish man. No. A fool is a man who does not know how to fold, even when he knows you have him beat. But you knew that already. Ah. You say in the man's last moments we find out who he really is. Unfortunately, no. we must now find out who you really are. Because of both.
closed. Please come back in the morning. No, please. Please, I have to come in. Please, let me in. Oh, but the trap. What has happened to you? My dear child. What is your name? Esther. Esther. Just stay still. Don't move. I have the phone up. I will call for help. No. It's too late. This book, the Nazis are looking for it. so that they buy all the dolls in the shop. <laughs> Good morning, Abigail. Good morning, Amos. Still talking to the dolls, I see. It may seem silly to some, but to me, they are my children. No, it's understandable. You are their creator. I am indeed. Amos. 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 Oh, sorry. Something on your mind? Oh, no, no. There's always something to think about, no? <laughs> the financial problem? No. Not so much. <clears throat> I will never understand why you didn't leave the country with your sister when you had the chance to. The business has been in, in the family for, for many, many years. You know this. Yeah, I know. But business isn't doing great, Amos. 
To be honest, it's not even doing average. I know why. Well, it's a shop. It sells the finest toys in Bavaria, and that, that must count for something. Yes, but people aren't coming in to buy them. Do you know, my father, listen to me now. My father used to say, Amos, don't let commerce become more important than the art, because it's art that feeds the soul. Yes. Not the money. No. I know. <laughs> An artistry is very noble, Amos. But look, you can barely afford to pay me. I... <sighs> to be honest, I... I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay much longer. Oh, my sweet. My sweet child, look, you just, just give me a few more weeks and I will find a solution, okay? Okay. Okay. That's what you said last month. Things are looking up already. Yeah. Uh, okay. No? <laughs> morning, sir. Please, come, come in. Good morning. I see you like the dollhouse shop, eh? This is one of my favorites, too. Tiny windows to another world. A safe world, full of fun and imagination. <laughs> I'm gonna go home for the day, that's okay. Uh, do you need anything from the shop? No, no. I'll be fine. You be careful out there tonight, okay? Yeah, you too. Don't stay up too late. See you tomorrow. Good night, Abigail. Several of us searched the Müller house. No sign of the book. The girl must have taken it with her. I made inquiries with several residents in the nearby village this morning. No one has provided any useful information. In a small town, everyone keeps track of what their neighbors are doing. Someone in Rosenheim knows where the girl is. Someone is harboring her. Please. Return to the village immediately. Begin questioning the villagers. If information is not forthcoming, then... I'm afraid more persuasive tactics will be necessary. Yes, yes sir! sir! Dominium Mando is
What was I thinking? Why, well, you look a little happier today. Indeed. I've, I've made a wonderful discovery. See that dog? The ugly one. Don't say that. You will hurt his feelings. Okay. This is Robert. No. What I'm about to tell you, it must never leave the shop. You understand? It stays between us, okay? Of course. Good. The other night, a girl came to the shop and she left a book with me and then fled. The book? Yes. The book. The Nazis are looking for it. Why did she give it to you? I don't know. I really don't. But when I looked inside the book, its pages were full of spells. Some I didn't understand, but, but one spell. A spell that brings life to the inanimate. Are you feeling all right today, Amos? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed I am, because now I can truly bring these creations to life. Come on, Amos, no. See for yourself. Robert? Show sure, Abigail. Come on, Robert. Show sure, Abigail you're alive. It's a good boy. Perhaps he's a little shy. He's not shy. No, no. I don't understand it. He, he was, he was running about last no, night. Come on, you should rest today. I will make you a drink. I don't want a drink. I... It's okay. You will show me later. Come on, please. Something's gone wrong. Do you have good news? I'm afraid not, sir. We've questioned over a dozen people in the village. The trail is still cold. I will meet him with the Führer in a few days. How do you think he's going to react when I tell him we've been out with by a bunch of... I need, it. I need a change of tactics. Rosenheim... It's a poor village. 
I need something they will respond to. What's that, sir? We will offer a very handsome reward and uh, a guarantee of no further harassment to anyone with information leading to the capture of the book. But do you think this will have more impact, sir? Is fear not the ultimate persuasion? Hope has its place too, Fingerlein. 20,000 Deutschmarks would change the life of any poor man. And there's no way all of the villages will harbor someone worth so much. Put the word out immediately. 20,000 for information leading to the capture of Esther Mueller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? This is Abigail. She is a friend, do you understand? <laughs> do you? <laughs> now give me that pencil. <laughs> Look what you've done to her. Naughty boy. Oh, my dear. Come, come. It's all right. Come to, come to me. It's all right, my child. When you first told me about that book, I thought you were losing your mind. Now you know I'm not. But why do you want to hurt me? I don't know. I've been trying to work it out, Abigail. But, do you know, I'm thinking that maybe it's something to do with the source of the doll's parts. I saw you made him from scratch. 
no, 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 not bothered. He and the other dolls, Otto and Isabella. I sourced their parts from different places and assembled them right here in the workshop. You know, I first discovered Robert after reading in the newspapers that a young boy had died. His body was found in a local park, clutching a doll. It turned out that the boy's father had killed him. God, that's horrible. Indeed, indeed. After the case was closed, I, I purchased the doll. I, I remodeled his face, I reinforced the limbs. I named him Robert. After the boy who had died. Why did you want such a morbid thing? You can call me an old fool, but I felt that the, that the boy's soul had entered the doll. I, I felt that his, his soul would be in torment. So I brought him here to, to a secure home filled with toys. I saw that, that a place full of childhood innocence would allow his soul to to live in peace, you know. Okay, that thing did not seem like a soul at peace to me, Amos. Okay? This is dangerous. Perhaps anger still remains about the way the boy died. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't keep working here. Please. Please don't go, Abigail. No. I can't put myself in danger like this anymore. I'm sorry. But today will be my last day. Well, this is terrible. Of course, I will, I will be very sad to see you go. I will be sad too. Abigail was like family to me. She really was. But now she's gone. Perhaps it is time to create a family of our own. <laughs> Robert, this is it. We are about to become Real family. Opus Lepidus Diablo Dominium. Good news, sir. 
We have an informant waiting in the hallway. She's interested in the reward. Is the information genuine? I don't know yet. She wanted to talk to someone in a senior position. Well, let's hope so, Gebhardt. I'm tired of dealing with these lying idiots trying to claim the reward. Please, bring her in. So, you know for a fact uh, this Emma's Blackout has the book? Yes. He told me that a girl named Esther gave it to him. But you didn't actually see it? No. So how do you know uh, Herr Blackout is not some uh, senile old fool? Because he's been using the book. One toy in the shop, it came to life and attacked me. It did, it did. Fräulein Kindrick, uh, where in the shop do you think Herr Blackwood would uh, keep the book? Well, <clears throat> he has a living quarters um, above the shop, and there is a workshop in the back room. So I would say that either one of those places are a safe bet. Excellent. Thank you, Fräulein. You've been most helpful. So when do I get paid? Paid? Yes, the reward. Yes, of course. Uh, Gebhardt, please, to pay up. How much? Well, all of it. All of it. Tell me, Fräulein, have you ever heard of the correlation in behavior between humans and rats? I don't understand. Surprisingly, humans and rats are actually more alike than they are different. For one thing, uh, we are both warm blooded in mammals. Uh, rats eat everything we do, and they live where we live. But you know what the most amazing similarities are? No. Rats form social groups. <laughs> and they exhibit many of the same behaviors as humans. Also, and this is my favorite part, rats have culture. Cultured rats. It's amazing, yeah? Sadly, uh, rats, they, well, they also exhibit many of the same negative behaviors as humans. For instance, uh, when faced with overpopulation, rats turn extremely violent. This is still one of the sadder aspects of the rat race. Yeah? But you know what the real trouble with the rat race is? Even if you win the race, you are still red. Please, go to the toy maker shop, find the book, and bring Herr Blackwood to me alive. I need to know what he's been doing with the book. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, but before you do, please, call the cleaners. that noise? Was it your own? You all stay 
界。The old fuck is in the car boot. There we go. Burn that shithole to the ground. Then we meet later on in headquarters. Okay. Forgive my delay. Hey, it's several hours now. Very important appointments to attend to. Where have you brought me? Where am I? This is of minor importance right now. This is of major importance. Is who I am and what you can do for me. Who are you? Right now, to you, I am God. Whether you live or die, rest only with me. So I would act accordingly. Tell me, what do you want? I want to ask questions. If the answers are helpful, then the Lord, that's me, will give it. If the answers are vague, then the Lord will not be so generous. Understand? This is no way to begin. They already know many things. I simply want to have a nice conversation. So, I 
Esther Müller. to elaborate. <coughs> I'm not a big believer in violence. I prefer to use intellectual debate and political discourse to solve my problems. However, apparently, you don't understand these things. Unfortunately, violence is the universal language. So, Esther Müller. What is the matter? Sir, I was looking for the Colonel. He's busy in the interrogation room. There has been a disturbance in the dining area. What kind of disturbance? Uh, the cutlery drawers are all over the floor. Are you suggesting there has been an intruder? Uh, no, sir. I think it's most likely to have been an uh, incident with the cook. Incident? Yes, sir. He likes to drink, and I imagine he's had one too many to drink last night before he's gone home and uh, made a mess. Right. Go down to the dining area and clean the mess up. Then contact the cook and ask him to report to me first thing in the morning. Disciplinary action may be in order. Yes, sir. Please, Herr Blackwood. My hands are getting tired. I do not want to do the turn to other methods. the book. That is all. Thank you, Herr Blackwood. You see, now we are getting somewhere. This is what I wanted to know. Hello? Hello?
Tell me about the book. Do you understand its significance? No. I simply... I flip through a few pages, that is it. I don't know what is it. Really? Don't? Really? Very well. I will enlighten you. To me, this book is a gift. However, in the wrong hands, it could be a weapon, a very powerful weapon. The book was first written many years ago by a German scholar, Josef van Hammerschmark. He spent many years studying ancient texts and mystical philosophies in the Egypt and Tibet. Of course, many of his contemporaries cast dispersion on his work, but uh, Himmler and the Fuhrer, they took a great interest in it. To them, this book could be potentially as important as the Holy Grail. But why? Because it holds the key to life eternal life, as well as many other important things, such as uh, the gift of life for inanimate objects. Does this sound familiar, Herr Blackwood? No. It does not. Simply, no, 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 no. We finally get in somewhere here, Blackwood. You established Esther. Had gone to your shop. You had gotten the book from her, yeah? We were having an honest conversation, and then you retreat into deception again. This simply won't do. You're going to kill me, whatever I say, aren't you? Of course. It's not a matter of if you will die. But how? is going on. <laughs> Little bastard.
Whatever you say next, we get chiseled on our gravestone. So, I would suggest something uh, poetic. Go fuck yourself, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, he's crude, <laughs> yet uh, poetic in its own way, I suppose. You are defiant. He's an admiral of quality, Hedrakut. And I envy you. You are about to discover what science never is. It exists beyond this world. Children, Isabel, Otto, Robert. I'm so very, very proud of you. You've all done so very, very well. But your father is not going to make it. I want you to know. You will always have each other.
den See. Gut, dann geht das gut. Stopp, hol ihn mir her. Don't worry, my kid. As soon as we reach our destination, Papa will set you free. Now, be good in there. Shit.